wipe out and destroy. Hopefully he pulls through his pectoral fin. He's got parasites, bacteria, fungus. Swish that bad boy's min fin. Kind of beat up. Lemon Oscar. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk about everything aquatics. So without no hesitation, we got to get right into this video because we got to talk about the 75 gallon aquarium that's right here over my shoulder and the six foot 125 gallon aquarium that I just showed on, in the last video. I pretty much killed every single thing in those two aquariums but not the fish. It was just a little play on words, all right? I mean, some people may call it clickbait. I call it clickbait. His mama named Clay, I'm gonna call him Clay. Basically, what we're going to do is wipe out and destroy every parasite, every fungus, every bad bacteria in both of those aquariums because we just added a bunch of new fish. Some of them are in bad shape. So we're gonna jump into this and I'm gonna show you how to take care of every single parasite, fungus, bacteria that you don't want in your aquarium. This is a good video, Ohana. Stay tuned. So we are in the fish room, AKA Tiki Lounge. Right here next to me is the 125 gallon, six foot aquarium. Uh, this bad boy here, we're gonna treat with Minfin. Now Minfin is going to take care of any parasite that's involved in any of these fish. Being that I got it from someone else, I have no idea the health on this fish. So we're definitely gonna uh, make sure that Minfin is gonna keep these guys nice and healthy. I showed you guys what I did with Minfin on the koi pond outside. Now I'm gonna show you guys the versatility of Minfin. We're gonna use it on aquarium fish, okay? Not only this 125, but we're gonna use it on the 75 gallon aquarium where we have the lemon Oscar and the new tiger Oscar too. Uh, they were part of this group of fish. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to treat your aquarium fish with Minfin. It'll take care of parasites, bacteria, fungus, all that good stuff. We will take the test. We're gonna call it the Minfin experiment. That's what we'll call it. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so all the aquarium fish in here are doing great, um, including this guy right here. He's still alive. He's still swimming around. That is my electric blue Akara. Kind of beat up. You can see the fins are a little tattered, uh, but I'm hoping that this Minfin, this dose of Minfin, will help him with his problem. Um, him, and then there's an actual Severum that I took video of. Oh, this one right here. You can see his pectoral fin. He's got some type of weird growth. I think it looked like a maybe a fungus of some sort, uh, but not sure. It could be from an injury from the aquarium that he was in, uh, but we're hoping that we can get this bad boy fixed. Um, can't really see it because he's swimming this way. Let's see if he takes a swim the opposite way and then we'll be able to get it on video. If not, I did take some video of it earlier. Why don't I just run that clip? Yeah, there you go. You see that fungus right there? Yeah, that fungus is growing. Uh, right on his pectoral fin. I don't know what it's from and I'm just calling it fungus because I have no idea what it is um, But we're definitely going to treat this entire aquarium now the first thing you need to do when treating minfin is Kill the filter. All right, turn it off that way um, The minfin doesn't go in the filter because if it does it's gonna kill pretty much all your beneficial bacteria So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shut it off and actually, when we shut off the filter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some aeration in there. Here is the portable aerator by Hyger. We're gonna go ahead and use this. It comes with uh, two airline hoses, and it can actually, I believe, aerate up to 140 or 160 gallons, something like that. So we're gonna drop the two aerators inside here, uh, make sure that these guys will have aeration or proper aeration inside this water because we're shutting off the filter and uh, we gotta do that for an hour. So this is gonna help. Look at the corridors, look at them being corridors. Anyways, so that flow there, I'm gonna leave that on. That way, uh, when I actually put the Minfin in, it'll mix around the aquarium really nicely and get to every single one of the fish. And I wanna let you guys know, Ohana, it's even safe for clown loaches, okay? Just so you know, Minfin is like the wonder drug for aquarium fish. Uh, yeah, trust me, trust me, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and dose this entire aquarium. Here it is, Minfin. Now, I did a couple videos on Minfin, all right? I'll leave a card up above, right 
there. Click that card, all right? Go check out that video. If you guys want a little bit more in detail, I explain a lot about MinFin, but not only that though, I get the owner. Yes, Mr. Paul Curtis, the owner of MinFin who created this um, for Aquarium Fish. We get a little bit of an interview with him and the story behind MinFin. So go check out that video, all right? And then come back here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the measurements out. It is a two part, okay? Super is easy to apply. I'll show you guys. This is the neutralizer. This is after we add the MinFin here. We're gonna add this, wait an hour. Then we're gonna add the neutralizer. It's gonna neutralize the MinFin. We're actually gonna treat the entire aquarium since most of these fish are all new. I wanna say like 95% of them are new. So uh, it's perfectly healthy for plecos, uh, clown loaches, and that's why I wanted to treat this aquarium and do this video to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get our measurements out. So we're gonna slowly, carefully pour the minfin in this little measuring cup here. It kinda smells like peroxide, that's what it smells like. So we're gonna go two full caps and grab this and we are gonna carefully pour it in this cup, which is all of aquarium water, okay? Just so you know, there's one cap full there, and we're gonna do another one, and we're gonna pour it right by the uh, wave maker. So there we go, we got that bad boy in there. We're gonna take our cup, and we're gonna pour it directly over Right there, the wave maker. This is the CJ Extreme 8000 wave maker. It is pushing water, you can see it right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour right over that wave maker and have it push water and spread it throughout the entire aquarium, all the way down. Okay, so for the 75 gallon tank, we did the exact same thing. We have our aerator here. It's got two air stones. Down, I'm telling you guys, these portable aerators, they're rechargeable, USB port, they last I don't know, like 23, 24 hours. There's an intermittent too as well. So you press the button again and that INT light comes on. It'll go on for 10 seconds, shut off for five, something like that. So as you can see, the bubbles are, are being generated to aerate the water. You'll see them shut off and then they'll come back on within like five seconds or something. So I'm telling you, these portable aerators are awesome. And not only that though, if you use promo code O-H-A-N-A, I will leave the link down in the description below. You'll get 20% off. Ohana, use that promo code. Ohana, I made it super simple for you guys, all right? So we got it in intermittent right there. We'll leave it in intermittent. That's pretty good. The battery's kind of low. You can see it's got two bars. It normally has up to five. So uh, we'll go ahead and save the battery on that. That'll be fine. Uh, we got to set our timer for one hour. So we treated the 75 gallon tank and the 120 gallon or 125 gallon tank. Uh, you can see, look at the lemon Oscar. Ooh, so lemony, huh? So yellow. Actually, those are the two Oscars I actually picked up. They're, they look healthy. They look like they're really in really good shape, but you never know, right? And this guy here, I wanted to treat anyways. And look at Tupac in the background. So he's doing good. I have another CJ pump. It might be a 5,000 um, extreme pump. I have that running right now. So I poured the MinFin right over that wave maker. So it's stirring it up inside the aquarium. I turned off my hang on the back filter there. That is the Tidal 110 powered by CJ. And I also turned off my canister filter right here in the back. You can see it right there. My CJ Eco Plus. The aerators are gonna be aerating. It's an intermittent, like I said. Shuts off, shuts on, saves the battery. So in exactly 60 minutes, we'll come back add the neutralizer and you're done. All right, it has been exactly one hour. As you can see, the fish don't look like they're struggling in any way besides that guy right there. He's still swimming kind of crazy. Yeah, we can see ya. Hopefully he pulls through. We're not sure, I'm not sure, but he was given to me in pretty bad shape. Let's go ahead and add the neutralizer. This neutralizer powder here. I'm Shorty only like cocaine and whole foods. Gonna go ahead and mix with uh, the aquarium water and it will immediately neutralize any of the minfin that's in there. So you can actually um, turn on the filters ASAP. You don't have to wait. And the cool thing about minfin is you do not have to do water changes before or after. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and go ahead and spread this throughout. Actually, I'm gonna dump it over by the wave maker and that way we'll be able to see it swish around the aquarium. All right, I'm just gonna get some of this water here. You can see all that neutralizer coming out there you go it's going right over to the wave maker 
and the wave maker is swishing it all through you can actually see the current is swishing it all down towards that end of the aquarium where a lot of the fish are at but as soon as this neutralizer is all out of here we can turn on the filters and we are good to go just a heads up on this aquarium i don't plan on keeping this aquarium here very long i plan on moving it so that's one of the reasons why i didn't put any substrate uh, i know the corridoras i know the geo vegas they love substrate in their aquariums i mean even the clown loaches uh but there was a reason why i didn't put any substrate because i don't want to make it heavy and i don't want to move all the substrate out once i move this like i said it's a temporary home some fake plants by elite cichlids a couple pieces of driftwood just to break the lines of sight for these fish and keep the aggression down also give a nice comfortable home for some of the plecos that are in here as well as the discus so that's the reason why i went bare bottom i don't plan on keeping it bare bottom once i find a forever home for this aquarium i plan on scaping it out so just stay tuned for that video we can go ahead and turn off our aerator gotta charge this bad boy up this thing lasted me forever we'll pull out the air stones with the airline hose turn on our canister filter and let the good times roll baby just like that the canister filter is on and we are good to go and we just treated this entire 125 gallon aquarium for parasites fungus bad bacteria and uh yeah i'm kind of curious on how this guy's gonna do you can see this electric blue okara <laughs> still kind of swimming funny but he's still eating i hope he pulls through that's his buddy right there i hope nobody picks on him all right so here is the 75 gallon aquarium we're going to go ahead and add the neutralizer to this aquarium here and have that power head or that wave maker by ck swish that bad boy around the aquarium and we'll turn on the canister filter and the hang on the back filter on this aquarium and get this bad boy rocking and rolling all right now we will turn this aerator off pull out the airline hose we got the title 110 powered by cj on and we also have the eco plus canister filter that's fired up just like that ohana we did the 75 gallon tank and the 125 gallon tank now if you're interested in minfin i'm a firm believer in it you can actually order it through Koi Enterprise. I'll put Koi Enterprise's links down in the description below. You can actually order it right through the app. Download the app, Koi Enterprise. It's super easy. I'll put a picture of it right here. I'll also put Minfin's website too, which has a calculator. So if you guys know the number of gallons you have, you just type in the gallons on your aquarium. Boom, it lets you know how much to actually add to your aquarium. Makes it super easy. Big shout out to Paul and uh, the entire Minfin family. I'm telling you guys, Ohana, what do you have to lose? Uh, that box of Minfin that I have is like 65 bucks and it's money well spent. Like I said, you have nothing to lose and it's going to just reassure the safety and health of your fish. I'll give you guys some updates on how the fish are doing, especially the ones that are not doing so good. That growth on the uh, Severum, I'm kind of curious on how that's gonna go. And of course, don't forget about that electric blue Akara in here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Much love and aloha.